Thanks for staying with us. Veterinarian David Graff is here today. If you have a question, give us a call. You brought an adorable teeny tiny kitty with I you did. today. He's a little black kitty named Harper. He's from the Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. He's 10 weeks old. He's a little boy kitty and he needs a home. He's so skinny. Yes. <laughs> and spry. He's very active. <laughs> He's full energy. Love it. Well, if you're interested, <laughs> Harper, yes? Harper. Harper. If you're interested, give uh, Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control a phone call. He is certainly a little bundle of fun. Uh, you had a cat come into your office that had never been groomed and a long hair cat at that. Yeah, yeah. It, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about grooming in, in cats. Um, you have two choices. You can either have a cat that sheds or mm -hmm. a cat that needs groomed. There's, there's really no there's no third choice. So if you have a long-haired cat, it's important that you understand before you get one that they're going to need to go More to a groomer. Yeah, and that uh, um, if you don't take them to a groomer, what happens is they can get really bad mats, mm -hmm. and that can be um, painful and it can sure. cause skin infections. And and it, and so for long-haired kitties, it's good that you take them in when they're young, so that they learn how to get groomed. And it, Otherwise, you can't. It's like, almost like you can't teach an old dog new tricks. You can't right, groom an older right. cat. They're not going to like it. And, and it's not at all unlike dogs because if you have like a poodle or a schnauzer, sure. you take it in when it's a puppy, and you, you they learn to get groomed. And it's a lot easier on them than, sure. than if you put it off. And it's, uh, for cats, frequently when they're really bad, they have to be sedated, and there's risks in that. Right. So it's better if they if you take them in when they're young and get them used to it. So just know what you're getting into right. if you get a right. long hair cat. Right. And we do have uh, Marty waiting on the line with a quick phone call. Go ahead, Marty. Hello, I have a seven-year-old cat, and she's um, been losing weight, and she huddles. Huddles? Um, she uh, huddles up in a in a not in a ball, but she. She just likes to lay curled up in a ball. Is that what you mean? Uh, well, she sits on her haunches. Oh, okay. Oh, and okay. Like she's she, cold. Okay. Huh. Well, she might be cold. Um, but if she's losing weight, the the older kitties, there's several things that can cause weight loss. Mm -hmm. Parasites. Um, uh, hyperthyroidism, which is an overactive thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. Diabetes. Diabetes can actually cause cats to get neuropathy, which might make them sit funny, make, sure. make their back legs look different. Um, they'll sit on their on their uh, hocks if they have neuropathy. Um, uh, kidney disease or liver disease can cause weight loss. There's a lot of things that can cause weight loss. So in, in when you, the kitties. weight loss itself is reason enough to yeah. bring oh, someone in. So make sure yeah. you take care of that. Yeah. And if you yeah. are interested in adopting uh, Harper, give Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control a phone call. He is a cutie. If he doesn't get away. Yeah, thanks a lot for coming <laughs> in today, Dr. Graff. And coming up tomorrow, our financial expert will help us plan for retirement. Stay with us here on TV9.